everyone, this is Liliac Festival 23, and this is the fifth time, the Zoya Nail Polish Jewels, the fifth time I have done, attempted this video. You feel my pain, right? Anyways, I'm having the jewelry blog sale, and I'm just trying to clear out some inventory because normally I have a spring jewelry party, and I didn't get to it this year because I was, I've been so busy. I'm going to have to take the um, necklace jewelry vlog sale and um, separate it into three different videos because the first one was too large. This is for continental U.S. only. Um, shipping is $3.50 per item with an additional $0.50 cents per item unless you get four items. <clears throat> Excuse me. Four items, I'm just going to ship them for free to you. Okay, and again, this is only for the U.S., and except for Maria Josie in Canada. If she'd like something, that's no problem. Okay, I'm going to get started. Sorry for the whiplash, guys, but you know my editing skills are not. Okay, let's see what we got here. I'll just give you like a whole panoramic at first, okay? And then I'll go into details. Oh, my camera, okay. Okay, the first item I have is right here, and this is a bronze pendant with red agate and copper. Now I've made this pendant myself and I um, baked it in my kiln, oxidized it, sanded it, you know, the whole bit. Now these right here are, um, I believe they're carnelian. I'm pretty sure they're carnelian. Oh God, the camera job. Anyways, um, the necklace itself is about 16 inches with an adjustability to 19 inches. Next to that is my bird. The bird I also made, um, it is copper, and it has a pearl dangle at the end. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's adjustable to about 19 inches. So that's the bird copper pendant. Next to that is a sterling silver wrapped carnelian. It's a beautiful stone. It's very shiny. Um, this particular necklace right here is adjustable. It's double corded, and it is, it's about... 15 to 16 inches with an adjustability to about 17. Next to that is a labradorite. Now, I don't know if this is going to capture on the camera or not, but if in the right light, it flashes um, like sunset colors, and it's beautiful. Now, this is all wrapped in sterling silver right here. It's on a plastic cord, okay? And it has a toggle clasp. It's about 19 inches long, so that's the Labradorite Sterling Silver Wrapped Pendant. This next, excuse me, next necklace is a um, lilac colored crystal wrapped in sterling silver and oxidized. That is on a cord, and that it really has a cute, i got to show you this. This is um, the ending that I put on it. It's a glass purple flower with a sterling silver little bead inside. Now next to that, because I'm trying to just to keep going here, is my pyrite cord necklace and that for the people that like gold this is um, gold filled wrapped with gold filled it's faceted oh, let's see there we go there there we go sorry about the angle on this um, and that actually has a little pedangle that's also pyrite now I'm just gonna move right on and get that tray out of here <laughs> I'm trying to film this on my oh no oh no I had a little issue here I'm trying to film this on my tripod, holding my tripod, because again, my editing skills are kind of rough. Okay, now, moving over to the left, this is also wrapped, this is a piece of marble um, that is wrapped with gold-filled wire, um, and it's on a thin cord, and it has a gold-filled lobster claw clasp. This is my bronze raspberry, and that is... Um, I made this in my kiln. This is made from um, precious metal clay. There's my phone. And um, I uh, made this from a real raspberry that I bought from the store. Next to that is my hematite corded necklace. And it's been oxidized. It has a sterling silver um, lobster claw clasp. Next to that is my copper flower pendant that I made um, from an antique button. Beautiful. Let me try to get let me try to get some detail on there for you. Okay, here's my husband calling. Oh, there you can see the detail. It's like just flowers around the rim. 
Okay, so I'm glad he's not swearing or anything in the background because that would be really bad. Moving on, I have my lapis double corded blue um, necklace. This is beautiful. This has a lot of sterling silver bead caps and beads in it. Um, it again, it's a double strand and it has a little bedangle at the end. This one's probably 16 to 18 inches. Next to that, I have my camper necklace. Um, I also made this. This is a uh, stamped into metal clay, and that's bronze. That actually has a little st soapstone ending at the top. I love those bedangles. I have to say, I, obviously, it's pretty obvious. Now this, that's my camera. This right here is made of horn, this um, disc underneath here. This is sterling silver. It's like a Celtic, oh boy. It's like a Celtic um, little symbol that's on a lighter core. So that's the horn necklace. Next to that is my Swarovski um, Crystal AB necklace that's on a fine silver chain that is 18 inches long. So that's the Crystal Swarovski. Right here is just the chunk of crystal. And that is um, has a crystal pedangle as well. Next to that is my um, wrapped copper turquoise pendant. Um, and that has a copper lobster claw clasp. So, let's see here. If you guys have any questions, give, give me a call. PM me on YouTube. If you would like something, PM me with your PayPal address. Okay, guys, thanks.